Opera Browser. browser. Opera Browser was playing videos, Instagram, Twitter, but then you updated. Now, those videos aren't playing once again. Today, we're going to take a look at how to recall that command from the terminal history. To quickly reapply that FFmpeg library back into the Opera folder. To get videos playing properly once again. Here, you see we have Discovery Software Installer open. And there's an Opera update mentioned along with some other updates. So we're going to go ahead and run all those updates. And it's going to ask us for our password. And then after the updates finish installing, we open up Opera Browser and we see that it will no longer play Twitter videos properly. When we try to play a Twitter video, we receive an error that says the media could not be played, followed by a reload button. And we can click that reload button all day long. It's not going to play that video. So we're going to open up the same terminal that we utilized to input the command initially to resolve this issue. And we're just going to press the up arrow on our keyboard and that's going to cycle through our input history in the terminal. Since we haven't ran a lot of commands since then, it shouldn't take us long to cycle through and get to that command. And you can see here we've been put some other commands since we've connected to a NordVPN connection. We have disconnected from a NordVPN connection. We've raided a NordVPN connection. And there's the command that we're looking for. The sudo space cp, which is short for copy, space dash i, space forward slash snap, and then the Chromium browser folder location, space followed by the Opera browser folder location on the system. Once we identify that command from our history, we can just press enter. And then it's going to ask for our password because we've already ran this command previously and copied it into that Opera browser folder. It's going to say that it already exists and it's going to ask us if we want to overwrite it. We're going to press Y on our keyboard for yes. And then we're going to press enter. And for some reason, the FFmpeg library, it's not being read properly or it has become corrupted after the update. So we're just going to recopy and overwrite that previous lib FFmpeg. Pressing Y on the keyboard and then pressing enter. And that should be it. Then we'll close Opera Browser and reopen it. We'll try to play another Twitter video. And there we go. Videos are playing once again after an Opera update. So hopefully this helps get web videos back up and running within the Opera browser after an Opera update on your Kubuntu installation as well.